Hi Pisces, Happy New Year. I hope you're having a great day so far. Let's go ahead and get to your weekly reading. This will be for January 6th through January 12th. We'll take a look at the immediate past, the current situation, and the immediate future, and we'll close it off with a moon card. Then we'll get some clarity with the rider weight or threads of fate. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your week, shall we? It's going to be a glorious week. Don't forget the full moon tonight. Be sure to use it. Well, it's a micro moon, they say. It's the smallest moon. The moon is the furthest from the earth right now. So they're calling it a micro moon, but it's also the wolf moon. If you want, go out and howl at the moon. I plan to. I'm not very good at howling, but I definitely plan on giving it a try this year. Absolutely. I'm also turning the wheel on my channel this year. We're going to do it live in Zoom, though, and I'll be putting out links, and we're going to be making a candle wheel for Embol on February 1st. If you'd like to join in, keep an eye out for all the information. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your week. Ha. Yeah, those changes, they can be hard, can't they? Oh, yeah, I don't think you have to worry too much about that. You're a very enlightened individual. Um, the overall reading is looking at the things you have lost, realizing that you just need to turn around and see the sun shining behind you, bringing you all the blessings. Just turn around and look at the sun. Don't hold your back to it. And in the future, you must remember that it's about the journey, not the final destination. Absolutely, it's always about the journey. In the immediate past, the sun, looking at what you lost and turning around and seeing the sun behind your back, you should always face the sun, always, for that true purity and glow and allow the divine blessings to come down. Don't hide your face from the divine. Shine it right into their, to their faces. Yeah, just look up and just shine. Look down and just shine. Well, you can look out too because they're everywhere. I know, but you know what I mean. All right. In the immediate past, we can see that you were looking to the future, keeping yourself in the eyes of a child, knowing that the divine was taking care of you. You accepted the new offer of love. You accepted that new position. And then you started to question it. Were you really talented enough to do the things that you needed to do? Were you really the right person for the job? And in the current situation, Spirit wants you to know that yes, you absolutely are. You just need to be careful with your words. And remember to be gentle, okay? You know, and continue to do your work. And just remember, sometimes, as you do your work, change it up just a little bit. Sometimes doing the same thing over and over and not paying attention to those outside distractions can be a hindrance. We need to pay attention to the things that are going all on around us. And I can see that you've been doing the same things over and over and over again. And it's time to change it up because I have the Ten of Swords in your immediate future where you will feel that sentence of death bumble. You'll be like, what the fuck? What now do I have to give up? But it's not a bad thing. You'll feel that sentence of death and you'll be wondering. But everything that you feel that has been deceitful and hidden from you, those traits within yourself that you didn't know about, the moon's going to illuminate exactly who you are. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, my gosh. And I see it all right here. The sun shining down lift your head up go on your journey pick up your cup and begin again and don't stop don't stop the sun is shining on you look past your illusions and get a really really good plan for your future it's going to be glorious well sure you can plan it and i don't know why but we're going to get you an earth magic card this is really weird this doesn't normally happen in my weekly readings, but okay. They're saying you need this card, so here we go. Is that right? And we're practicing some shape shifting. 
interesting. We all do. We all become who we're supposed to be. So people can see us in the light that we need them to. So that we can continue to work with people and share love with the divine and raise the vibration of the universe. Just remember to breathe. Go out in nature and breathe. If you can't get out in nature, just sit in your living room and breathe. And just realize it's a wake up call. All right, it truly is. It's a wake up call and it's time to get moving again. Break on through your routines, break through your limiting beliefs, change it up, get some new fresh energy flowing, okay? Take soul flight, ancient healing wisdom from the shamans, invoke the spirit of the earth, invoke your higher self, invoke the spirits of nature, the fae, work with them, help me bring the veil down. Please help me bring the veil down. We all, when we, can, when we get together as a united front, will have the strength to do what we need to do. We can no longer live in solitude. We have to allow that vulnerability to happen. We have to take a chance. You have to take a chance on yourself, on the divine essence inside of you on the magic of nature and the fae and the crystals. Please, don't be afraid. Reach out to me if you need guidance and help. I'll do the best I can for you always. We will always reflect together and work within our hearts to seek that power of the divine so that our lives will always become more effortless as we continually go through the rebirth rebirth of our heart and soul, rebirth of the planet, as we show all love, kindness, and compassion to ourselves, to the universe, our brothers and sisters everywhere, especially for people like you and I, highly empathic and sensitive. It's going to be okay. You reach out if you need some help setting some boundaries, okay? Yes, I can feel it. It's okay. I'm here. You reach out anytime you want. Say your prayer, send it up to your angels. I'll see if I can help. If they think that I'm the right one, maybe they'll let me hear it. Well, you never know unless we try. Is that right? Yeah, my cards are acting a bit weird. It's the Rider weight. it doesn't really fit in my hand. And they're asking for a couple of good shuffles here. I'm not sure why, but let's go for it. I don't know. Guess they weren't in the right order for you. You must have wanted something very specific. Okay. Well, we all do. You really think something's being hidden from you, huh? You just weren't sure about that offer. You were waiting and waiting, and when it came in, you just weren't sure. It's okay. It was real. It's going to be okay. Just remember, you have to learn the ins and outs of everything. When you take on a new venture or a new relationship, you need to learn who that person is, too. Yeah. It's all part of the fun. Learning the imperfections that are perfectly perfect for you. It's a glorious thing. All right. So the moon. Yes. We know you feel that they... We're veiled, but I don't look at this moon card the same as everybody else. This reading is coming out on the full moon. Yeah, full moon in Cancer. Bring on the love. This moon card here means that everything is going to be revealed to you. Exactly what you're here to do. Your purpose in this world and your way forward. You're going to know intuitively exactly what you need to do. Just remember with the Ace of Swords, as you move forward to speak your truth, to cut away that which no longer serves you, remember sometimes a gentle hand is better than not a gentle hand. And to have the patience and to know your place 
You are a true angelic being of light, worthy of love and a beautiful life. Yes, you are. You're perfect just the way you are. You are a divine angelic being of light. Just understand you are a child of the divine and you are here to love and be loved. That's it. Love and be loved, okay? Truly time to celebrate. It is. It's time for you to celebrate and accept that it's all very real. Like I said, though, if you need some assistance, you reach out to me. You can reach out in the comments. You can email me at healingwithsimoon at gmail.com. You can go to my website, healingwithsimoon.com, and reach out to me through there. Reach out to me any way you need to. Love and light to you always. I wish you the very best. Bright blessings and namaste. Bye-bye. Yeah, my, my voice is still affected by COVID. I got COVID again, and I'm not completely past it, but I'm working on it. Send healing energy my way. Love and light to you. Bye-bye.